Hey everybody, Asher here, and I have no idea how long this episode is going to run. This is FTL Advanced Edition Hard Mode. We're on the Federation Sea, and after a pretty hard throw in the previous episode where I decided to stupidly board on a, a ship while in the middle of an Ion Pulse Star, I'm now left with two crew, one hull laser, one artillery beam, a transporter that I can't reliably use, and one scrap because I had to spend everything to repair. So while I'm not the, while I'm not dead, this could be a run that this could be a video that I just survive one jump maybe more. So we're gonna do the best that we can. It advances weapons bringing up whatever here. So good news is that we can actually hull laser some of the stuff. I'm gonna target their weapons as best as possible. I could try and board them, but the problem is that those missiles will hit every time because I don't have anyone in the piloting area. So we'll take out. Okay, doors are out. Now that's probably I don't I didn't see if that did one or two damage. So one damage. So unfortunately, it's a one power missile, meaning the whole laser. I'm not going to be able to get that in. So we just gotta push for hull damage as best as possible and hope stuff doesn't get taken out. Because my weapons fire just a little too slow. Now keep in mind this is the Federation C, so I do have a. Uh, well, now I have no weaponry at all. That's beautiful. Now they're trying to run away, and chances are they will probably succeed. So I should probably run away first, especially if I can... Oh, good. There's a there's an off chance that I might be able to take that... Nope. Well, we don't want the Federation pursuit doubled here. So we're going to go over here because this should give us... Oh, that's actually not connected to the exit. Yes, it is. We're going to go here, see if we can make it to the exit. Still trying to get that repair in on the weaponry. We're going to trade missiles for drones. Sure, why not? We'll hit the exit. So, so far one encounter that didn't work too well. Like I said, I... Uh... I only have one level of shield still. So this is a ship that could be pretty bad. But my weapons are actually just about repaired. And by the time I get power up and everything, I should be alright. Should be alright being the operative word here. Is it more advantageous for me to get the 5% extra dodge or to try and get the shots in faster? Because whole beam's not going to be able to do anything. I think I do need to actually get this in. So we're going to get ioned. We're going to lose our shields completely. Hopefully we don't get other weapon systems taken out here. Please get the beam. Oh, good. Just barely got it in time. So as long as their ion's not up, they can't hurt me. And hopefully the uh, artillery flat can do its thing right now all they can do is tickle me I really desperately need level 2 shields or I could just miss that is another option now my one worry is that the artillery flak is probably gonna fire on sequence with the uh, cloaking going off yep so those all just completely missed we're gonna be here a little while guys especially if I can't hit their weapon system before it repairs hopefully I actually got a breach in there but I can't tell because it's more important that I sit here and wait, so I need to actually... Oh, well, I gotta do one weapon damage first. I, at some point, I have to do one weapon damage. It is a matter of statistical certainty. It looks like they have stealth weapons to boot, because it's hard mode. Well, that's good news. Now I don't have really any reason to do anything other than wait for the flak and hope that it doesn't do this appropriately. Okay. So the struggle is real here. I told you before, I make no guarantees for how this video is going to... Okay. We are going to have to jump out of here, and that's really frustrating, because that is a fight that I could have won. We'll go to the Mantis Sector. Like I said, that's... And that's the kind of ship this, this one is. If I had additional crew, I might have been able to board some of these things. I might have been able to board there and, like, take out... The weaponry so that's my own fault but now that we're here i'm just kind of stuck on what i got let's go ahead and repair this as well just so we don't take the additional hull damage so we've had to run from two fights what an exciting video i think i am going to in fact restation aki to the front so that way he can deactivate all my systems as he runs through them i guess what i could have done was taken some power away from the flat cannon to make it go there. That store is useless for now, but might be useful later. I have nothing to sell. 
So we're going to aid the civilian ship. Are we going to get boarded? Yes. Yes, we are. So I can put you in the doors. I mean, this is hard difficulty, so he's probably going to be able to take out that damage by the time it's there. And of course, now that uh, I'm here and supposedly established, Dog's like, I want to board you, pay attention to me. It's every, every time it's something about the dogs. I may as well just let that trans. What? My shields have absolutely no power. I don't even know why they have no power right now. But my artillery beam's gone, so that's a plus. I guess, if you want to call anything a plus. Oh, you're going to go for the oxygen room? I don't think so. I'm going to beat you to it. Hey, look, I can't hurt you. You can't hurt me. I think we've come to an agreement here. Oh, just that's right. Eye on the system that's already damaged. So this guy's actually... Oh, the door's got broken, so that's fun. Good news, everyone. We have a Mantis who's just been running around like he owns the place. Because he does own the place. And that's not getting repaired. This actually may be the end of me. This might just be over in a minute. I've got to jump again. There's a distress beacon, so we're going to go to the one that's less likely to actually be anything. Oh, it's an asteroid belt, which always means there's a fight. So we are just about to die. Okay. Unless for some reason this ship can't hurt me. But... Usually that's not what happens, considering there's a beam drone and my sensors are now on fire. This is just an ugly end to this run. All right, well, we knew that was not going to go super well when I killed my crew. So that could have been further than Sector 3, I think. I don't know if that run had what it took to take it all away, but, you know, that is kind of a view of the strengths and weaknesses of this ship. On the one hand, it does pack a fairly good punch with the flak artillery cannon. The problem is that it's not a beam so it can miss it's subject to cloak it's subject to all kinds of stuff i mean it's it's not an impossible ship by any stretch of the imagination plenty of people have won with the federation c but it is one of the toughest ships to use in the game so that's it for now this is asher we're going to continue on next time with even more ftl faster than light advanced edition i don't even know if i'm going to put like some little spoiler stuff at the end of this or not I may just keep this as like, oh, look, it's an eight-minute video. I think you all know how this run goes. So, hey, cool. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.